Hi, I'm Dale from Beaver Valley Woodworking. Welcome to the shop. This week's project, the six shelf corner stand. What's cool about this project, it's made out of pine and it looks fancy. And on the top two shelves, you got a heart. Perfect gift to give to someone you love. Well, that's enough about talking about the project. I know you guys want to see the build. This is the layout for all six shelves on a 1x12, 8 foot long piece of pine. As you notice, all the shelves have no knots in them. And a tip to make perfect triangle, repeatable triangles every time, you take a carpenter square, you clamp a piece of straight, a straight uh, board on there. This way, every one of your triangles will be perfect when you uh, trace them out. Well, on this project, the holes have to be dead on, so I made this jig. Move the fence here to the bottom. This way, we can do our corner holes. When you're done drilling your holes, you're going to have three holes only halfway through. You're going to have three shelves with ho three holes going all the way through, like you see here. You're going to have one shelf where the 90 degree corner, only the hole is halfway through, and the 45 degree corners are all the way through, like you see here. Then you'll have one shelf like this, no hole where the 90 degree is, and two holes only halfway through where the 45 degree angles are. Sanding all the shelves down with 220 grit. Adding three coats of polyurethane, sanding in between each coat. Adding three coats of polyurethane on the dowels. Doing a final sanding with a fine grit sanding sponge on the dowels. Doing a final light sanding on the shelves with a 400 grit. While making these shelves, I did make a mistake. What I should have done first, is after they were cut, cut out, is I should have put the finish on first, and then drill them out. The reason why is, dowels are going to get glued onto here. Now with the stain in there, well, with polyurethane, the glue's not going to stick as good. So, what I'm going to do is going to drill these holes a little deeper. Well, I came across another problem. When I was putting the polyurethane on there, the coat I put three coats on there. So now it's more than one and uh, three eighths thick. So when I try to put that one and three eighths hole into the dowel, it makes it a very tight fit. And I'm afraid that if I try to force it in there, not only will I end up damaging the dowel, that uh, I'll also end up damaging the the shelf. So I'm going to sand these holes out a little bigger. Sanding all 11 through holes for that perfect fit. I'm ripping the board down to 2 and 3 8 inches wide. Adding a 3 quarter inch wide 3 8 inch deep dado on the bottom shelf. Cutting two inches off of a 4x4 four four scrap post. Drilling 3 8 holes deep enough for the screw heads. Drilling pilot holes for the screws. Inch and a half. Inch and a
one thing I'm doing is for the spacing of the shelves, I'm using spacer blocks. Because I know between each shelf, I want 12 inches. Put my spacer box in there. One thing when I'm doing to hold the shelves in place, I'm doing a 3 8 hole. I'm going to put a screw in there. Well, in the design, I know this part here is going to be cut down shorter compared to the top dowels. So I'll put my spacer block, what I have for the shelf, in a 3 8 uh, spacer block there. This way I can uh, put my uh, cut line where I'm going to be cutting this back dowel. With a 1x12 pine board, I'm cutting the two pieces out at 19 and a quarter. I took advantage of my little SketchUp skills in a combination freehand and a French curve. I was able to trace out a heart, so I just had to cut it out. Using a half inch round over bit on the router table to put a round over on the edges of the heart. You don't put the round over on this part here. The reason for that is this is where the two corners of the heart will match up. Well, here it is, folks, the finished product, the six-shelf corner stand, popular for the dowels, and the rest is out of pine. So if you like this build, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, and feel free to share. Sharing is good. Makes me feel good. And uh, don't forget, uh, you can get updates on BeaverValleyWoodworking.com and the Beaver Valley Facebook page. Go over there and give that a like too. Till next time, be safe, be creative. You can follow Beaver Valley Woodworking on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Keek, and the brand new BeaverValleyWoodworking.com. Thanks for watching.